All right, here's my breakdown as we go through the next couple of days. Widespread rain getting here this evening and then turning sharply colder tomorrow afternoon. It's sort of like going from spring to winter all in a single day. And speaking of winter, Friday snow still looking good, and I'm getting the sense just from looking at my Facebook page. There's a lot of chatter going on about this storm, so I thought I'd start the forecast off by looking ahead towards Friday. It's a low pressure system that goes to the south which puts us on the cold side of everything. So it looks like a fluffy snow for basically everybody. Snow gets in here first thing Friday morning and it leaves Friday night. So it's an all day affair with this snow. And this is an early call, still a little too early for specific numbers. But I would bet on at least three inches of snow for the northern half of the region and more snow to the south could be talking about six inches plus across most of southern Vermont and the mountains likely pushing double digit snowfall. So if you're getting sick of all of these uh, rainstorms and warm weather, a little something to look forward to. We've got 20s and 30s out there this morning and warmer air coming in later today. You can see the 50 there in Pittsburgh. That's the air that moves over the north country at just hours from now. You can see we're right around 50 this afternoon. Many dry hours and then the rain gets here for the evening commute and it will be coming down steadily. I mean, there's a lot of moisture to work with as you look off to the middle part of the country. Dry for now, couple freezing rain showers in the St. Lawrence Valley. Otherwise, no big issues as you're stepping out the door this morning. Here comes the rain knocking on the door by about four o'clock tonight and overspreading the region through the first half of the overnight. When all is said and done, I think it amounts to about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. And then we start off your Wednesday morning mostly dry. So not a lot of rain, but it could be enough for a localized ice jam concern. I still think the concern was higher last week, so the flooding risk a little lower this time around. 52 for an early high on Wednesday, but 30 30s by the afternoon going down to 22 on Thursday. That day is pretty quiet before the snow gets here on Friday. Back to you.